Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Children's Health Core. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Thyroid, Tired or Adrenal Fatigued. A viewer sent me an email asking a question. Dr. Ali, how can I tell whether my problem is thyroid or adrenal? Actually, it's a very useful question to raise. It allows me to discuss something that so far I have not. The underactive thyroid people, let's start with that, because the overactive thyroid people can also be tired, but that's a different type of problem altogether. I think the writer is asking me to distinguish between the undue tiredness coming from sluggish thyroid and fatigue coming from adrenal weakness or adrenal exhaustion. Patients with underactive thyroid causing fatigue are generally they have a puffy appearance. The adrenal gland problems which cause fatigue, they usually are more virid, they are more tense looking. The eyes look sharper, somewhat sunken. The eyelids of the underactive thyroid patients often are um, a little edematous. People who have undue tiredness because of sluggish thyroid, usually they wake up tired, but as they pull themselves out with activity, they seem to get somewhat better as the day goes on, at least in the early stages. People with adrenal fatigue, they wake up bad, and they become badder as the hours go by. So this is in my way of saying that the adrenal fatigue tends to be a much more deeper and persistent problem. Now, one other thing I might tell you that the puffiness of the underactive thyroid activity associated with fatigue usually also affects the ankles and the legs. And sometimes if you put pressure, you leave a little dimple where your pressing thumb was. Adrenal fatigue usually does not show you this feature. What they do show you sometimes, skin discoloration or flat out freckling or pigmentation. In fact, when I see a patient, chronically unwell patient, with recent onset of skin pigmentation, first I think of the adrenal fatigue and then I think of insulin toxicity. Thyroid fatigue is usually very easy to correct. All what you have to do is to do the test. If the TSH is up, that's really the best test, or the reverse T3 is up. That means a systemic problem. You just give them natural thyroid replacement, test them for iodine, give them supplemental iodine, and you corrected the problem. When you have a fatigue with overactivity of the thyroid, which may be associated with anxiety hype and uh, rapid heartbeat, heart palpitations, skipped heartbeats, that usually takes longer. There are several herbs which are very good for controlling this. Passion flower, hawthorn, motherwort, lemon balm are some examples. The adrenal fatigue, on the other hand, it does require not only the testing to define the depth of the problem, but there are a number of ways of supporting it. I have tried all of those things. DHEA, epiandrosterone, adrenal extract, some herbs, Siberian ginseng, schizandra, and I will tell you on the short term basis, the best way to do is hydrogen peroxide, hydrocortisone, five milligram, three times a day or four times a day, start with a smaller dose if you have to. That's the best diagnostic as well as the therapeutic test. The full recovery of the adrenal gland takes longer. But, but there is one other crucial point that I want to include. You know, when I see a patient who is tired, I assume that there is a thyroid problem. I assume that there is an adrenal problem. I'm going to do tests for both. And so in my mind, this is never really a critical distinction. If the problems of puffiness is there, I know there is thyroid underactivity. If there's also a problem of pigmentation or viriness or sharpness of eyes, I know there is a adrenal problem, but usually these problems coexist. 
our vision at this Children's Health Code and Corp Core is to provide authentic information untainted by corporate delusions and corporate distortions. Children's Health Core is a non-profit foundation funded and founded by my wife Talat and I several years ago. Our mission is to provide authentic information focusing on issues of nutrition, environment and children. Nutrition, environment and children's stress for people of all regions of the world. Please visit our website www.kids123.org. There's an icon. If you have a question, how can I help? Click it and we give you specific suggestions how you can join hands with us and try to do this good work at a greater scale for more and more people in the world. Thank you for joining me. Until you meet again, may you be gracious, graceful and generous in your spirit. Thank you.